provides fresh spinach to the Chicago area and Northwest Indiana has shut down operations. The nationwide E. coli scare is the reason why. Darlene Hill is live in South Suburban Lansing with that story. Dar? Good afternoon, Patrick. And we're talking about hundreds of bags of raw spinach out here. Just take a look at some of the bins right here. All of this stuff in the garbage. Just take a look at these bags right here. The spinach is already turning brown because most of these bags now would have been going to restaurants and stores in the Chicago and Northwest Indiana area, but now no one is eating raw spinach and all of it is going in the garbage. We've pulled everything off the shelf. Um, everything is being returned to the farm. We're dumping uh, all the spinach and we're, we've stopped running until the FDA can clear us. Now, because only the fresh bag spinach has been linked to the E. coli outbreak, the FDA has ordered stores to remove all spinach from the shelves. At this, at the DeYoung farm, that means about 80% of their business is coming back and being thrown out in the garbage. The owner says he has no idea when now he'll be able to call back the three dozen employees that he laid off because of the outbreak. The spinach comes in here from Colorado, and it's washed and bagged at this Lansing farm. DeYoung says he's ticked off about the tens of thousands of dollars that he's lost. He's more concerned, though, about the industry and what will happen when the FDA says spinach is okay to eat. First is uh, fear for the industry, what's going to happen uh, for the industry. Uh, we're frustrated and trying to uh, get our product cleared. Now, the DeYoung Brothers Farm has been a family business here in the Lansing area for about 50 years. In addition to the bag spinach, they grow onions, radishes, and beets. The owners, of course, say that they know they're taking a hit. They only hope that when the FDA says it's okay to eat this bag stuff again, that consumers will pick up the bag stuff and not be afraid to eat raw spinach. Reporting live from Lansing, Darlene Hill, Fox News, Chicago. All right, Dar, that said, a local restaurant has filed the first lawsuit in connection with the tainted spinach crisis. The owners of Hamilton's restaurant in North Suburban Glenview are behind a class action suit. It targets natural selection foods, the California company linked to the E. coli outbreak. The suit seeks to recover lost income due to the uh, spinach scare. They want to make sure that the quality control systems are improved and possibly some good could come out of this lawsuit in the future so that this won't happen again. Well, the suit does not specify how much money it hopes to recover.